Hey everyone and thanks for tuning in for this paranormal pit stop, which will land us at a popular park expanse located off Chesney Highway, east of the town of Chesney in Cherokee County, South Carolina, preserving the site of a major battle of the American Revolutionary War and purported to host a number of resulting restless spirits. Are you prepared to brave the ghosts of the Cowpens National Battlefield? Historically, prior to the American Revolution, land now holding the battlefield site was initially utilized by farmers local to the area, namely as grazing lands. The Battle of Cowpens would transpire on January 17th of 1781 as a major engagement of the American Revolution, during which time U.S. forces under Brigadier General Daniel Morgan and British forces under Lieutenant Colonel Bannister Tarleton would clash as part of the campaign for the Carolinas. The fight would mark a major turn point in America's reclamation of South Carolina and would result in only 25 killed out of Morgan's 2,000 men and a near total elimination of Tarleton's forces at 110 killed, 229 wounded, 629 captured or missing, and additionally in the lieutenant colonel himself fleeing with around 200 surviving troops. Circa 1805, one Richard Scruggs would settle near the battlefield with his family and would begin farming of the land. Circa 1828, Richard would give his son, Robert, 200 acres of said land, on which the young man would construct a log cabin, in which he would reside with his wife, Catherine. And over the years, the couple would welcome 11 children into the world, adding on to their domicile as needed. Robert would pass on in 1890, with Catherine following him in death two years after. In 1929, Congress would establish a 1.5-acre memorial park at the site of the battle. In 1933, the National Park Service would take over management of the expanse, and astonishingly, the Scruggs cabin would remain in family hands until the 1970s, when it was purchased by the NPS and added to park grounds, ensuring its ongoing preservation. In 1981, the National Battlefield's protection borders were expanded expanded to include 842 acres of total land, and following, the NPS would dish out nearly $5 million in development costs. Cowpens National Battlefield remains open and accessible to this day, offering walking tours of the battlefield, the reconstructed Scruggs Cabin, and a visitor's center featuring a fascinating museum and intriguing exhibits around the American Revolution that even includes a fiber optic map of the Southern Campaign and associated battle. Chillingly, following the fight, while some of the dead were moved elsewhere to be interred peacefully, a number were buried right on the battlefield or left behind in Entirely. Additionally, a range of family cemeteries dot the locale, and over the years, the entirety of the expanse has picked up a reputation for its extreme paranormal activity, many claim resulting from its violent past and abundance of local dead organic matter, and those frequenting the area have reported disembodied voices moaning and screaming, the feelings of being watched or surrounded by a crowd of persons unseen, the phantom smell of gunpowder and encounters with the apparitions of soldiers seemingly locked in battle into eternity. One prominent legend tells that on clear nights at around midnight, echoes from the Battle of Cowpens can still be heard from the fields, complete with ghostly cannon and gunfire. Another that some inhuman creature stalks the whole of the area, bearing razor-sharp and often bloody teeth, and crawling from the darkness to surprise those nearby. And through the museum, staff and visitors have told of old artifacts moving on their own, of doors opening and closing by themselves, and of inexplicable electrical malfunctions. Several informal investigations of Cowpens National Battlefield have yielded orbs and strange mists and photographs, extreme EMF fluctuations, chilling EVPs, and even instances in which investigators have managed to communicate with spirits at great lengths. Lastly, the Scruggs House, which has since been restored to its original 1828 state, is rumored to harbor the ghosts of the Scruggs family, and near it, many have told of run-ins with spectral figures in old-fashioned clothing, commonly spied going about tasks from lives spent long ago, that fade when addressed or approached. Thanks for joining us on this Paranormal Pit Stop. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.